Hey guys, welcome to a quick episode of the developer log of Unveil. Um, on this opportunity, I'd like to talk to you about a few of the game mechanics that have been changing over time. Um, so one of them actually is that energy doesn't drop over time anymore. There is no decay. So I can walk around and you can see energy stays still at dangerous yet steady 11%, um, which was... Uh, huge thing to uh, the huge decision to make but since hydration is now taking its place by you know as you can see i'm losing hydration over time depending on the current temperature where i am but energy on the other hand now has become more of a currency for doing actions um now of course i had to figure out a way for you not to abuse of it because now going to zero energy meant you didn't die either right that's one of the other changes so uh, there is a turnaround and uh, actually if we run a little bit to spend some energy you'll see that now I'm officially starving and I can't run anymore I'm trying to run but I can't that's because I'm starving as you can see on the top left and it slowly keeps increasing um, over time how, for how long I'll be starving and while I am I basically have some general debuffs uh, so you definitely don't want to be starving um, and also, also disables you to do certain actions like running and others which I won't cover in this video but the, um, the important thing this is not a stat you want and this triggers at 11% but by the way um, you cannot lose a battle while you are starving right so if you're starving you cannot lose a battle or you'll die you'll die because you don't have enough energy to get back up so um, that is some something definitely to bear in mind now we're gonna try to get rid of this starvation by actually eating something oh let's go over the new uh, token system this is really interesting so uh, basically tokens still remain kind of the same but not um here's why all right so you still see this i have a leech token right here the leafy token which has an, uh, an upgraded icon looks really good right now and the lumberjack token i can still compress them say i can compress three of lumberjack into a major one but i cannot apply them from here anymore what's going on uh well actually the thing is that now if we go to equipment you'll notice that we have six token slots and that is because tokens are no longer applied to weapons, but on the character itself. So if we open up one of these, we'll see every single token that we have. We have a, a major lumberjack token, a regular, two leafy tokens, and a leech token. And um, we can actually go ahead and say equip the major lumberjack token. And as you can notice, this is currently uh, disabled. And why is that? Well. Uh, the reason is because I did not want you guys to abuse of this. So once you place a token, you cannot extract it anymore. Just like a weapon, although there is actually a way to extract this later on. The main issue was that if you would bind a token to a weapon, then it was a hassle trying to uh, say, oh, I want to fight with this weapon, but this one has this, this token that I want to use right now. I want to chop a tree down. I have to change my weapon. It doesn't make any sense. Or, you know, and plus you were getting the benefit of more than six tokens uh, because you would just exchange them as you needed it. And the idea is for you to experiment, but not to change them every single minute because that will make the game annoying. So say I can... I can now equip another token, however the lumberjack token is disabled because there is a major one already there. It means you can only have one of the same kind at the same time. So if I place down a leafy token here, you can see this also goes um, unable to, to change it and also uh, the leafy token is again disabled because I already have one and I can apply a leech token and that's it. So how could we extract this? I mean, it took me like a li really long time to get this major lumberjack token. And what if I eventually want to replace it with something else because I don't care about this anymore. Or well, I want to use this to combine it with other two major lumberjack tokens to make it even better. Uh, do I just waste this progress? No, as I mentioned before, no, I don't. So um, now there's a new feature called meditation, right? And all right, this is supposed to have like a cool animation it doesn't have anything it just goes white uh, point is if the conditions are perfect everything's perfect we get a trans buff for two minutes through two hours sorry uh, meditation lasts an hour and so sorry I had to escape all the uh, all the text so um, but uh, besides giving us great buffs it lets you it lets us do certain unique things and one of them is actually going here and unequipping our tokens 
So we can actually now unequip it or change it or say I want to screw myself and I put a minor lumberjack token instead of a major one, although there is no reason to do that. At the conditions when you can meditate are not clear. Um, it's supposed to be very rare not to be able to do it every single time because again you get a buff and the ability to change tokens, but that is pretty interesting. I mean, I think so. There you go, guys. Uh, you... Uh, no longer die out of losing all your energy, but you do die if you lose a battle while starving, while it's a trans uh, buff that gives you certain buffs for battle and so on, and also um, lets you unequip the tokens which now are equipped to the character instead of the weapons, so you have better peace of mind while playing. That is all for now, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.